Hello guys, welcome to my channel Bibong Unique where I discuss technical topics and today our discussion is CT characteristics and D point voltage. So let's begin. Uh, before understanding knee point voltage of a CT or current transformer, you have to understand what is CT saturation curve. Now, CT saturation curve, how to draw it? For drawing CT saturation curve, we applied voltage in the CT secondary and keeping primary side open in steps of 10% of rated voltage till 120% and read the secondary current using a clamp meter. All the readings are noted in a table and the curve is drawn between the applied voltage V and the excitation current IE. And the pictorial view of the curve is shown in the picture that IE is through the X axis and voltage through the Y axis. And the components I will discuss in the next few minutes. And now carefully observe the CT saturation curve. You can see that up to point K, the curve is exponential, while after K, the curves become non-linear. So it is quite clear that beyond point K, we need to increase current to a larger extent to have some increase in voltage. This is because the curve beyond point K becomes non-linear. The voltage at point K, that is indicated as VK called knee point voltage and this is the reason in definition it is said that by IEC that knee point voltage of a current transformer is defined as the voltage at which 10% increase in voltage of CT secondary result in 15% increase in the secondary current. What that means? It means that an increase in 50% current will lead to just an increase in 10% voltage after point K. Therefore, slope at knee po point voltage will be, you can see in the equation that slope is equal to increase in voltage divided by increase in current that is 0.1 by 0.5. Now you know that 10% means 0.1 and 50% means 0.5. Now by division rule it comes result that 0.2. Therefore if I tell knee point voltage in a simple or easy way is that knee point voltage of a current transformer is a magnitude of secondary current of transformer. After or beyond this voltage, the linearity between primary and secondary circuit, that is the desired property of a current transformer, does not work anymore. In a saturation zone, the error in transformer ratio is high. The secondary current is distorted by this saturation. This is called core saturation of a current transformer. CT or current transformer burden, what is that? CT burden is an impedance of secondary circuit expressed in ohms and power factor. This power factor is not the power factor of secondary load. CT burden can be expressed in two terms as example 5 ohms impedance and 10 VA at 5 ampere it is a british method there 10 va is total power and 5 ampere is the rated secondary current and 2 volt across the secondary now what is the significance of magnetization or excitation curve of a city as you know that a city has a unique magnetization curve for a given temperature and frequency. With the transformation ratio, this characterizes its operation. This magnetization curve, voltage VO and magnetization current function IM can be divided into three zones. First one is the non-saturated zone, second one is the intermediary zone, and third one is the saturated zone. Now, 
For non circuitous zone, IM is low and the voltage PO and therefore IS increase virtually proportionally to the primary current. That you can see in the curve that which one is marked as 1 is the unsaturated zone. Here the graph shows the linearity. Now intermediate zone. There is no real break in the curve and it is difficult to situate a precise point corresponding to the saturation voltage. And the saturated zone, the curves become virtually horizontal. The error in transformation ratio is very high. The secondary current is distorted by the saturation. Therefore, nipon voltage of city is very important for protection class city. That means where city is used for protection purpose. Now, protection class city is normally specified as PS class. There P is defined by knee point voltage of current transformer VK and excitation current that is IE and VK by 2. The burden of CT when used for protection purpose is quite high when compared to the metering class CT, which means that voltage across the burden will be high. But voltage drop across the burden is equal to the voltage across the CT secondary. And if the voltage across the city secondary is high, then it may derive that city to saturate in normal condition. Therefore, knee point voltage of protection plus city must be more than the voltage drop across the burden to maintain city code in its linear zone. This is the major difference between the metering core city and protection plus city or protection core.